Traditionally, May has always been the month of the Blessed Mother. Not sure why. It's a month of spring explosion, although not here, not this year in Northwest Indiana, but in the rest of the world, spring is actually happening. So it's a month of great new life, um, fertility, the world coming back to its um, beauty. And we see in Mary that that fertility, that creativity of God, that through her, um, Jesus became flesh in our midst. And the creativity of Mary in saying yes to God's plan and in putting her life at the service of the word. In this month, we do celebrate some significant feasts. We had St. Joseph the Worker on May 1st, spouse of the Blessed Virgin. May 13th is the feast day of Our Lady of Fatima. And May 31st is the feast of the Visitation, that graced moment when Mary and Elizabeth, these two pregnant women, bearing within themselves the secret of salvation, get together and Mary sings her Magnificat of praise to God. So in the Blessed Mother, we, we see the victory of the resurrection. This, this mother with the pierced heart who stood at the foot of the cross as a solitary witness, as a sentinel in the darkest of nights to the possibility of hope and to the truth of the resurrection. Even though it doesn't say it in the scriptures, you have to believe that the first person that the risen Christ appeared to was his mother. I have to believe that. Because who else would he come back to first? So picture that scene. Jesus saying, Mom, I'm back. You know, Mom, I'm raised from the dead. Um, that vindicated her entire life and healed her heart as she continues to be our mother, our intercessor before the throne of God. It's a great month to rediscover the rosary or to practice some other particular Mary devotion. A lot of our schools crown the Statue of Mary this month. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful custom. We, we pray to Mary as our mother and our queen.